One of the most forgotten activities to do in GTA Online is collecting all of the collectibles across the map. So today in this video, I will gather every single collectible in GTA Online on a new account as a level one. So let's see how long this will take me. So without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I'm on a new account. And as you can see up top, I am clearly a level one. So I absolutely have nothing to my name. We have zero dollars in my bank account. And the first thing we're gonna do on this account is actually collect every single collectible in the game. All right, so I'm going to explain this a little bit more as we get started, but I'm going to start my timer right now. All right, clock is running. All right, let's go start collecting collectibles. So currently right now, I stole this coquette right here. So this will be my vehicle of choice in the beginning. Uh, yeah, we don't have any vehicle like to our name currently at the moment, and I don't really plan on getting a vehicle. I could get the Duke of Death, but honestly, I really don't even think it's worth it because I just want a vehicle to get from point A to point B. But anyways, as you can see on the mini map, we're going to this icon right here and we're going to get started with this. This is going to be the movie props treasure hunt or collectible. And yeah, this is the first collectible that we're going to try to get. And there's a reason why we're collecting this one first. Anyways, for these collectibles, essentially like the premise behind this is that, uh, oh, okay. Solomon's going to explain it to us. So you see all of my priceless collector's pieces gone. Quite honestly, the city's turned into a, okay. I don't want to read that entire thing. Essentially someone's come into Solomon's office, stole all of his movie props and it's scattered all across across the map. And there's a total of 10 movie props we need to collect. And seven of them have a direct location. I can just go to this location and we can just collect this thing and then bring it back here and we'll be good to go. But then there's three of them that have to spawn in. They don't have a direct location. So we're gonna have to randomly stumble upon that. So I wanna give myself as much time as possible for me to stumble upon the last three. So yeah, let's get started with trying to collect these first collectibles. Oh yeah, as you can see, it's snowing. I'm filming this on New Year's Day actually. Oh yeah, that's why I have like my New Year's outfit and whatever. I almost drove away, which was almost very stupid because I forgot. The first location is right here. That that thing right there is a movie prop. I don't know what that's supposed to be, but it's a movie prop. So yeah, we collect the movie prop and we're supposed to take it back to Solomon's office. Now, I want to test out something. Oh, I want to see if I can collect multiple movie props and bring them back to Solomon. Completely forgot if I could do that or not. And the next location we need to go to is going to be the shoe store. So I'm going to head over to the shoe store. Now, there's a total of five different collectibles we can collect. The first one's movie props, which is what we're doing right now. And then there's playing cards, action figures, LD organics, and signal jammers. Anyways, we made it over to the shoe store right here. It's not even on my mini map. I am that low of a level where it's not even on my mini map, but I need to come in here, sir. We're not here to look at the stuff. I need to enter the pri- Okay. 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 Well, see, I need to get into that back room. In order to get in that back room right now, I need to kind of cause a scene. Oh, I don't have any- <laughs> <laughs> completely forgot i don't have any ammo so i'm gonna have to just call the riot right now oh my god dude they still don't know that anything's oh oh we're good now we're good now okay okay yeah everyone's trying to run out of here i need to run into here excuse me ma'am okay you could have gotten out the way uh there's a movie prop in here though where where would a movie prop be in here or is it over here is a movie prop over here oh it is oh thank goodness okay we have two movie props now uh can we exit out this door no okay some missions i can't normal free mode you can't so yeah i'm holding on to two movie props right now i want to see if i can just dump off two movie props at once because if i can that'll make this a little bit quicker yeah a lot of these movie props they're not like in the city which is kind of strange i think there's one more kind of in the city just at the casino i think in one of the bathrooms and the rest of these movie props are like in sandy shores and even beyond so that's gonna be fun oh yeah i've done this challenge before but i didn't actually like time myself in doing it and i wasn't technically at level one when i did it before it was on season one of loser to luxury and i think at that point i was like a level 30 something like that and i think it took me right around eight hours <laughs> it took me that long it is ridiculous how long this takes anyways yeah we're gonna return two movie props all right there we go yeah two movie props returned we get ten thousand dollars for each movie prop that's returned and then we get like a reward at the end which you'll see at that point so essentially with this video i want to see how high of a level we're gonna be after just doing collectibles because we're already a level six we're already a level six from collecting collectibles which is crazy we started from level one we're already level six just from collecting collectibles. And then I want to see actually how much money in total we're going to have. All right, but the next one though, we need to go to the casino and it's going to be a little unfortunate with this specific one because we're going to have to sit through a cutscene. Oh yeah, also I'm recording this video on New Year's Day. This is literally the first video I am making in 2024, which is absolutely crazy to even think about. <laughs> Every other video that I've released since 2024, I've recorded in 2023. This is the first true 2024 video. And this is an absolute doozy. I have to freaking collect every collectible in the 
game. We're roughly collecting like 300 total collectibles across the map. No one else is doing this on YouTube. Absolutely smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button while you're at it. And we're about to head into the Diamond Casino where we're going to have to sit through a cutscene. All right, so we sat through the cutscene, which is very nice. We need to pay for a membership. Yeah, I think we need a membership to collect all the playing cards across the map. We're not going to do that right now, but we just absolutely want to get started with that. When we bought the membership, we had to pay $500. We get 5,000 chips, which turns into $5,000. We'll get a visitor's bonus for that too. Oh yeah, we'll trade in our chips and beautiful. There we go. I think that's going to be the only way I'm going to make money outside of collectibles. That thing right there, which was absolutely nothing. But anyways, what we need to do now is we need to run around the casino. I need to find the bathroom, wherever the heck it is. Here's a restroom. It's the wrong restroom. Um, I think this is a woman's bathroom, but that makes no sense because there's urinals here, but I don't ask questions. I don't know. I don't care. We need to go to the other bathroom. Aha, uh -huh. and then the bathroom that no one's at. But yeah, we need to get this movie prop right here. All right, so there we go. Instead of taking this back to uh, Solomon Richard's office, we're going to go around and collect the other four collectibles that are just on the map right now, which these last four, they're kind of spread out pretty equally, which kind of sucks. Oh, man. Dude, they despawned the car that I was driving. Yeah, this is going to be a problem. Yeah, I want to see how many cars I'm going to need in this video. I mean, that's already one car that's already come and gone because it despawned. There's got to be a good car that spawns in the parking lot here, please. Okay, this looks like a Voltic, right? Okay, okay. Voltic is good. Uh, this is a supercar. This is one of the supercars that can spawn in. This is one of the slower supercars in the game. Might even be the slowest supercar in the game. Why do I have the cops on me? I didn't do anything. The car was unlocked. That's not my fault. Oh, yeah. With the movie prob, I actually like show you pretty much every collectible that we're going to collect just to kind of give you an idea of like one exactly how to do the movie prop collectible but two just to give you an idea of how like these collectibles are kind of going to work for this video this should give you a pretty good idea i mean after the movie props the next least amount of collectibles i have to collect for a specific thing is going to be 50 i think but after we collect every movie prop or whatever there's going to be a lot more collectibles that i'm going to have to collect so i am not going to really talk too much after that unless it's something crazy happens. All right, so we made it over here. There's supposed to be a movie prop. I don't remember exactly where this movie prop location. Oh, I'm being stupid. I'm being very stupid. It's like over here somewhere, right? Oh, I found an action figure. I literally found an action figure location. I'm not going to collect that one right now just so I can keep track of the action figures that I'm going to have to collect. All right, yeah, but here is the movie prop right here. Okay, I can just drive over it and I collect it. Nice. It was an alien head. We have three more that we need to collect. Okay, by the way, if you want to know like all the locations for the collectibles, there are many different like websites and YouTube videos that show you every single location for you to collect every single collectible. Like right now, I'm using gtalens.com, which is pretty helpful to actually figure out where exactly on the map you can find all these collectibles. If you want like a better visual of where exactly it is in the game, as far as not from a map perspective, then there's many different YouTube videos on people collecting every single collectible. So I highly recommend you watch some of those. This video is all about the journey as a level one to try to collect every single collectible in the game and to just see how much money I can get just from collecting all five of these collectibles. But here we go. We're at the next location. This is such a weird location for a movie prop to be just chilling out at. Pretty interesting movie prop. There's just like some head right here. You see that? It's like a little flashing head. But yeah, we're going to go over here and collect it. And there we go. Two more movie props that we need to collect that are in stationary locations. Oh, I just got a notification for doing like the Chiliad Wilderness little treasure hunt that's seasonal. I'm not going to be doing that in this episode. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, like I'm recording this right now when snow's on the ground. Around. There's two different like collectibles I can collect right now just for the snow. And that's destroying 25 different snowmen, I think. And then doing like a Yeti treasure hunt. I'm not going to be doing any of that in this video. Only the ones that are not seasonal. All right, so we made it over to our next location. And this location is going to be the altruist camp. These altruists, they're very hostile. So yeah, they're already pissed at me. I'm not even like, I mean, I'm close, but I'm not like inside of their property yet. So yeah, we're going to try to do this quick. Uh, my goal is to kind of just drive it in here. Maybe just make sure don't die, right? Nice. Okay, we need to get this. We need to get this. We need to get this collectible. Bam, got the collectible. Uh, do I have snacks? Oh, I do have snacks. I think I got snacks as like a New Year's reward or something like that. Um, yeah, just drive off the mountain, please. No, why do y'all y'all have me trapped? <laughs> just get me out of here, dude. Oh my god, the snow is gonna be a problem for this video. Oh, and they shot out my tires. That's not good. Because the final location is going to be inside of the military base. And I would like to, you know, use this vehicle to jump into the military base like the old-fashioned way. But I can't do that. 
that on three wheels. So that's going to be interesting of how we're going to do that. I need this vehicle. I think this is going to be my vehicle. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, you ran into me. So I steal your car. Bro, he just spawned on top of the coil voltage. I was just driving and he wants to fight. Like, no. All right, there we go. This is going to be my vehicle. We have the Uber Mog Zion now. Um, This seems like a good enough vehicle to get into the military base. All right, here we go. Moment of car. Car. Okay, I still kind of have some speed. I'm just going to still send it. That was so stupid. Okay, oh, no, okay, okay. A little overreaction. We still easily made it in. But my goodness, that almost just screwed me over. All right, any... Oh, I don't have any, like, ammo. Oh, can I buy ammo real quick? I need ammo bad. Okay, I have ammo. I have ammo now, okay. But still, I need to get into this tower right here. Okay, I think a tank blew me up. Yeah, if you have a hangar inside the military base, this would be so much easier. But no, we're at level one, so we don't have a hangar. Stop your car. Stop your car. All right, fourth vehicle of the day right here. This is the Feltzer, right? Yeah, the Benefactor Feltzer. All right, so we're going to do a little different strategy this time. We're actually going to drive in through the normal entrance instead of jumping the fence, just because I think it's a little easier to get to where I want to go. I'm holding down the A button. I'm ducking. And we need to go inside of that door. All right, nice. Oh, uh, where's the movie prop? I don't remember where the movie prop exactly is. I know it's in here somewhere. I need to do this quick before I die. <laughs> Okay, we're good. We're good. I don't want to have to go upstairs. Is it really upstairs? It's going to suck. I might actually be upstairs. I'm going to have to walk all the way upstairs just to get this movie prop. Wait, no. My controller was vibrating. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. I, it is on the bottom floor. I just looked it up. That is so annoying. That's just me being stupid. How did I miss it, though? Jeez, this is like turned into a heist. I just need one movie prop. And y'all can like go ahead and like defend the country again. Oh, my God. There's a ton of people in here. Okay, the movie prop is right here. It was right here. God dang it. That is so embarrassing. There we go. That's seven movie props, I'm pretty sure. Okay, now I want to see if I can get a jet. Because if I can get a jet, then I can just fly all the way back into Los Santos. I'm not good enough with a jet to, you know, land it everywhere I want to and use it for the rest of the video. But it would be pretty nice if I can just, you know, use a jet to get all the way back to Los Santos and deliver the movie props. Um, this is a good jet right here, I guess. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Get up, go, just get in. Get the, get the jet. It's okay, it's okay, character. Take your time, you know. It's not like people are killing you or anything. There's that tank. Yeah, I just saw the tank. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, we're not gonna get the jet, but we did get the movie prop, which is all we needed. So now we need to go all the way back to Solomon Richard's office and deliver all the movie props so then we can get rewarded for what we've done so far. And then hopefully the last three will just spawn in for us. And I'll show you what I mean by like spawning in. All right, so we made it back to the movie lot. Yeah, let's go to Solomon Richard's office right here and let's deliver the next five movie props. And there we go. Seven out of 10 movie props have been returned. We got $50,000 for that. As I said before, $10,000 for each movie prop that's been collected collected and oh wow that is huge that is just huge we got to rank 12 and you're probably wondering like why is that a big deal now once we get to rank 11 we actually have the ability for different aircraft to spawn in for us which i was not banking on this early but it just so happens now that we actually have aircraft that can spawn in for us now i can actually use uh, like a maverick or a frogger or one of the nice helicopters that spawns into the game for us so that's absolutely huge so yeah right now we're pretty much done with the movie props for now unless we run into any of the other props that can spawn in so now i think i'm gonna get into trying to collect all the playing cards now i think this one's the most confusing one in the game in my opinion okay well i accidentally already picked up the playing card i was gonna like intro it and then actually pick up the playing card but here we go that's one out of 54 playing cards that we need to collect and i don't even think it really should right there but we got a hundred chips for it or something like that like chips you can use at the casino and pretty much every playing card you get i think that chips chips will actually double something like that i don't know uh let me get to the next location and hopefully i can get a better idea but before i get to the next location i can actually go ahead and pick up an aircraft which is going to be very nice for our journey from here on out and there we go that is a maverick that has spawned in for us so as of right now we are going to use the maverick to go around and try to collect as many collectibles as possible anyways um see that thing right there that small rectangle that's a playing card so like a normal line you know, there's a deck of 54 cards. And that's kind of what we're collecting here. We're collecting a whole deck of cards, which is a total of 54 playing cards here to collect in GTA Online. So yeah, let's go ahead and collect this next one right here. And yeah, there we go. As you can see, we got 100 chips for that, which is, you know, not crazy yet. This one, I think, is the worst one, in my opinion, the playing cards ones. But anyways, yeah, we need to go ahead and collect 54 playing cards. So yeah, from this point on, I'm not really going to show you too much of me trying to collect all these playing cards. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and focus up try to do this as quick as possible and then in the end we'll see how much we'll get from doing this okay 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 hold on hold on all right all right i was not ready for this so yeah we have to go back to the military base for another playing card
card. Yeah, there's a playing card right here. This one wasn't too bad. We're gonna have to go to the military base. Ah, uh, definitely at least one more time. I have 32 out of 54 playing cards collected. Uh, it's been going pretty smoothly, and then that just happened. No, no, no. I parked in the wrong spot, dude. I have seven more playing cards I have to get. No. Man, I thought it'd be such a huge accomplishment to, you know, use one helicopter to go all the way through one collectible without wrecking it. That was probably my best opportunity. At least I think it might be my best opportunity. I stole this guy's truck, and now he wants to beat me up, which, I mean, cool, because I'm going to have to give you the three-piece and the soda. Um, yeah, here's another playing card. I have six more playing cards now that I need to get. We're almost done, but I'm so sad. The helicopter was with me throughout this entire time. Hey, no robber. Holy crap. We just headbutted the robber. Okay. Wow. That is interesting. Yeah. There's a robbery going on at the shop, which is not too far away. Uh, there's supposed to be a playing card in here somewhere. Oh, here's a playing card. Yeah. There we go. Uh, that's 50 out of 54. All right. So I see the final playing card right here. We're at 53 out of 54 playing cards. So let's collect this final playing card. And there we go. We just got 54 out of 54 playing cards. We got a total of 66,000 playing chips, which is equivalent to $66,000. And we just got added the high roller outfit. All right, so let me head back to the casino. Let me cash in all that cash I just earned. And then I'm going to throw in the high roller outfit. And for the next collectible I'm going to try to get, I'm going to be wearing the high roller outfit. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is so huge. That was so huge. I was literally just thinking that in my head. I was going to go over this once we got back to the casino, but obviously things have changed. So from that last playing card location, I was pretty close to Polito Bay. I wrecked my helicopter. So I wanted to drive drive back to Polito Bay so I can get a helicopter. Well, on the way back to Polito Bay, a movie prop just spawned in, which here, I'll show you how this works on the map. So it's going to be one of these blue dot things. Now, every blue dot on the map is just not going to be a movie prop. Like this is probably, I don't know, like the fifth blue dot that's spawned in on my map. I think I've gotten like three guard locations. There's like a sleeping guard for the Cairo Perico Heist or something like that. And then I actually got a crime scene to spawn in, which is another blue dot. And then finally we get the movie prop. So yeah, you just right now, like on the map you just think this is just a normal blue dot you want to hover over this blue dot and as you can see on the column on the right with every little mini map icon the blue dot is labeled as movie prop which is exactly what we need and this is huge because obviously we're not going to be hanging around Polito bay too too much so yeah now every time i go back oh god no no i completely I forgot there's people guarding it. Luckily, it doesn't spawn in. Oh my God, look, another blue dot. See, this is what I'm talking about. Another blue dot. That's a security van. The only weapons I have to my name is the pistol you start out with and then this shotgun that I picked up. But as soon as it runs out of ammo, we don't get a shotgun. So this is one of the three movie prop locations where it just randomly spawns in. There's one in Polito Bay and there's two others in downtown Los Santos. Luckily, this movie prop actually spawned in, which is very, very nice for us. Okay, there we go. Okay, we just lost the cops. Now we just need to deliver this movie prop to to Solomon's office. And then after that, I'm going to head over to the casino. So yeah, I would say my biggest tip with like these movie props that, you know, randomly spawn in. I mean, there are definitely ways where you can like just bounce around from session to session and hope that one of these movie props will actually like spawn in. I think my recommendation is just to not really worry about it. Just like kind of play the game normally. And if you just stumble upon it, then obviously at that point, go ahead, collect it and bring it to Solomon's office so you can get paid. All right. So we've made it back to Solomon office so we need to just park this thing right here and there we go we got another ten thousand dollars for that all right so we made it back over to the casino and as you can see in the top right we have sixty six thousand chips so i'm gonna cash that in right now so that's gonna equal sixty six thousand dollars so right now we're sitting at one hundred and seventy three thousand dollars for collecting eight out of ten movie props and then all the playing cards now the playing cards it's a little unfortunate because you don't get like a oh congratulations you collected every single playing card you know award i think most most of these collectibles have that. I don't remember 100%, but we're going to find out, obviously. So yeah, we're only getting $66,000 for this, but we also get the high roller outfit, which the high roller outfit is going to be under special. And yeah, here is the high roller outfit. I'm um, sure I'll rock this. Can I not wear a hat with this or something? Yeah, please put on a hat. Yeah, come on. And then the glasses, like, come on. Yeah, yeah it will be a little festive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. It's still New Year's. But yeah, also with all those collectibles that we just got with the playing cards, you get something in... Red Dead Redemption 2. I don't know exactly what it is, but yeah, still um, probably the worst like collectible to get. But one thing that is a little beneficial with getting this outfit, the high roller outfit, is that you can use this during the Diamond Casino heist during the big con approach. One of your exit disguises can be the high roller outfit. That'll save you one little
little prep mission that you don't have to do all because you have this outfit but and it's not really that worth it in my opinion that took me it took me roughly an hour to do that one that wasn't horrible to get the high roller outfit but now it's time for me to go and collect my next collectible which i'm going to start collecting ld organic product right here all right so i made it over to my first ld organics product and i don't know if you can even really see it just because it blends in pretty well with the snow but it's going to be right here it's this little thing right here yeah that's gonna be ridiculous luckily my controller is vibrating for this and actually before i collect this i just want to say that i am now a level 26 i mean we've actually gained xp like crazy it's been two hours and 20 minutes since we like started our timer and we're already at level 26 that's crazy i mean this is kind of a decent way to gain xp i mean once you really get into the groove of this it's kind of boring and tedious but hey we're level 26 we're almost level 27 um yeah anyways let's go collect our ld organic product and there we go one out of 100 we have to collect 100 ld organic products we get a thousand dollars for each one we have lamar right there saying hey dog i got a favor to ask my last batch of already organics just disappeared from the warehouse foul play don't doubt it but the word is you found some if you can keep on the trail and get it all back to me at the warehouse i'll hook you up which woo, yeah lamar's gonna hook me up yeah so yeah i have to go find a hundred of these so yeah let the fun begin i just got myself a new helicopter hopefully this helicopter can last me a long time but i don't know We'll see how it goes. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Huge, huge thing just happened. Huge thing just spawned in. Our ninth movie prop just spawned in right up here. We've only just really started to get going. So I'm gonna have to ditch this helicopter. I mean, it's still in great condition, but unfortunately, yeah, we're gonna have to ditch this helicopter, but for good reason. So the movie prop is going to be over here, the back of this van. Okay, that was a lot easier. Wait, what is this car? This is a not normal car. Why is this car in here? Oh, the Stafford? I don't know why that's here. But anyways, yeah, we need to lose the cops now. And then deliver it back to the movie lot. All right, so we made it back to the movie lot. Here is your next van. And there we go, another $10,000. That's nine out of 10 movie props collected. Uh, I'm gonna go back to collecting LD organic products and hopefully the last one will be able to spawn in sooner rather than later. So I'll see you if anything crazy happens. Oh, great. We're starting a gang attack? Dude, I'm just trying to collect collectibles i'm just gonna get the collectible i'm getting out of here i don't really want to participate in this gang attack oh oh oh! it's in the pipe that's such a weird spot that is the most unique spot so far there we go that's 12 i'm gonna run away hey, please don't call me a coward for running away i defeated the yeti with only my bare fist have you done that no i don't think so so yeah i am running away all right this one location for this ld organic i'm gonna have to ditch my helicopter it's so sad but yeah it's apparently at the top of this born at least i think it's at the top of this born i'm gonna have to do something very annoying that i don't want to have to do i think i have to parachute to the top section of this barn i have the cops on me now that's fantastic i'm pretty sure i have to stay 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 please 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 no no well, that sucked. Wait, why is there a cow in here now? There was not cows in here before. Yeah, apparently this LD organic is supposed to be like roughly right on here. I think it's up. There's quite literally no way for me to get up except for parachuting down. Dude, that sucks. I'm gonna have to go get another helicopter to try to get to that one. That's stupid. All right, here we go. Attempt number two. Uh, Let's see if I can actually land up here. I don't know what happened that last time. I felt like that was such a good like beginning. Oh, I don't think this is gonna be that great. I'm gonna have to like, what if I do like, th oh no. Okay, that was just dumb. That was just dumb. That was terrible. My goodness. If you had an oppressor, that would be so easy. Even the original oppressor, that'd be doable. All right, attempt number three. Okay, let me line it up like this. And then let me pull back. Let me pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Pull back. Yes. No. No. Gosh, I swear. That is just so stupid. That was such a good entry. And then, of course, there's just a hole right in the middle. Gotta go get another helicopter. All right, what is this? Attempt number four, I think it is. Something like that. Am I lined up? Oh, jeez. I don't think I'm lined up. Hold on. Hold on. Let me circle back around. Okay, okay. I might be lined up. Might not. Oh, the cows are running out the barn. Oh, I'm getting shot at, too. Mm. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. If this is actually where it's at. If it's not there, then I'm stupid. I'm pretty sure it has to be there, though. Thank you, cop. Really appreciate it. Your input is so fantastic right now. All right, please, please, let's get inside now. The thing is, I have to, like, pull up really aggressively, and I want to make sure I aim a little bit high, because our parachute's going to fall apart or whatever right before we get in. So, like, right here. Dude, what? Oh my. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Why did they make this a thing? Here, I'll show you what I'm going through. Right over by this cow, like my controller's like starting to vibrate a little bit. But then once you get over here, it's not vibrating. Okay, never mind. It's kind of vibrating in here, but it's not vibrating here. And it's not like vibrating like Chris. I 
didn't know there was a ladder here. It just blends in. I thought that was just like a wooden beam. Oh my God, that was so stupid. That was really dumb. It was up here. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Um, Yeah, I guess let's keep going. I have, what, 81 more to go, <laughs> which is crazy. Oh no, dude. And the next location is going to be inside of the military base. Yeah, we're going to have to deal with a four-star one in level. And I just got this helicopter too to buy a helicopter. I'll see if I can get out cleanly. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Yeah, we're going to have to go in right now. All right, four-star one in level. Oh, 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 I remember where it is now. Okay, okay. At least I remember where it is. There is so many people over here. I did not think there's this many people. I'm just chilling out with a pistol. Hold on. Bop. Wait. Bop. Wait. Bop. No. That was on me. That's on me. Ah, oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be so tough. All right, let's try this again. Attempt number two is going to be a little bit tougher, but see how it goes. Wait, is it here? Okay, I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh my God, the tank is nearby. How did the tank already show up? Okay, wow. I guess we're gonna need an attempt number three. All right, here we go. Here we go. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything. I'm trying to. I don't know. Was, where's the tank? Where is the tank? Just grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Grab it. Okay, that's it. That's all we need. Um, you can kill me now. I'm cool. Just get me out of here. Thank you. All right. Hopefully the rest of this will go pretty smoothly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. Wow. I just got this helicopter, and we have just found the last movie prop. But this one's moving. I don't know why you're being annoying, movie prop. But it's okay. It's okay. I'll show you how it's done. You know, just park this right here. Block the movie prop. Take this guy out. And now I have a movie prop. And yeah, we just need to take this to Solomon's office. And then this is the last movie prop we need. We'll be completely done with collecting all the movie props. And we'll see our final reward for this. All right, Solomon, here's your last movie prop. You're welcome. You know, don't lose it next time. Maybe lock your office door or whatever the heck happened. I don't know exactly what happened. There we go. 10 out of 10 movie props returned. We got another $10,000. I think we have to go back to Solomon's office, though, to get the final reward, right? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, okay. Visit Solomon's office to collect your reward. All right. So we're going to go to Solomon's office. So we're going to walk on in. Oh, we have to open the box. Okay, we have to open this box to get the reward. And as you can see all around the office, if you remember the first time we came in here, there wasn't a lot of stuff here. But since we collected everything, this office looks a little bit more full. Like we collected that circle thing right outside of here. Oh, uh, we collected this mummy thing was in the back of one of the vans, I think, and blah, blah, blah. Um, Yeah, but we have to open up this box. So, oh, we get movie sounds. Or movie sounds. Okay, whatever. That was stupid. And yeah, oh, oh, oh. We are now an alien. Plus, we got $50,000, which honestly is a little less than what I thought. But yeah, we get this pretty cool outfit. So yeah, I'll be an alien until I get my next reward. I'm cool with that. So yeah, in total for collecting all the movie props, we collected $150,000. $10,000 per movie prop that was returned, along with $50,000 in the end, just as a thank you reward. But yeah, let me get back into collecting LD Organic product. All right, so I just crossed the halfway point on all the LD Organic products that I need to get. But it's about to get a little bit more interesting because the next one is going to be inside of the prison. Yeah, I don't know why these are just so annoying to collect now. Wait, why do I not have the cops on me? Huh? Oh, now I have the cops on me. Okay, I was so lost. It's like, why do I not have the cops on me? Oh, I think it's over here, right? Oh, I just ran over it. Okay, well, that wasn't that bad at all. Okay. I still have a four-star one level. Uh, I have 51 at 100 collected. Dude, oh my God. I just lost connection. <laughs> Dude, I have so many questions because sometimes when this stuff happens, not everything saves. I really want everything to save because, you know, I don't want to have to backtrack and collect some other stuff. <sighs> All right, so one way you can actually like check to see how many collectibles you're at is you go to your interaction menu, you scroll down till you get to here, which is all collectibles, and then you click collectibles, and we are at 56 out of 100. No. <laughs> Oh, no, I was trying to get 61. No, that sucks, dude, because that means we missed that. I have to go back and get four. Thank you. Thank you, Connection. I really, really appreciate that. All right, back to work. All right, so we finally made it over to our last LD Organics thing right here. Uh, I think it's taking me over two hours just to collect all of these. But there we go. That's 100 out of 100. Now we need to visit LD Organics to deliver the product and receive my unique reward. All right, so we need to enter the side of this building right here. This is the LD Organics building. We're walking out with some LD Organics merchandise. Very, very Lamar, if I do say so myself. And we're on some stuff. But anyways, we got credited with an extra $50,000. And every LD Organic that we collected was $1,000 a piece. So that's $100,000 that we collected, along with the $50,000 that we got for completing it all. So for collecting all the movie props, all the playing cards, and all of the LD Organics, we're sitting at $392,000, which I mean, geez, this is 
has taken me wait what is the actual time i'm at right now i haven't looked at my timer in a while <laughs> This is just under seven hours of work. <laughs> and I still have two more collectibles I need to get. Now, honestly, I started recording, I think, at one o'clock in the afternoon. And I, it's almost nine o'clock because I had to take a break in the middle. Yeah, this is going to be like a two-day thing. So what I'm going to do right now is that I am going to go and I'm going to try to get all of the single jammers. I was going to save the single jammers for last, but I think I'm going to do the single jammers now. And then I'll collect all the action figures tomorrow. Now, the thing with the single jammers is that the signal jammers are very, very different than all these other ones. Because the signal jammers, you actually have to like destroy the signal jammer itself. And it's going to be very, very annoying as, you know, a low level to do that without an oppressor. If you had an oppressor, it would be so easy. You just fly around, boop, done, next, move on. As we are right now, it's going to be very difficult. But luckily for me, we can register as a boss. We can register as a VIP. And then what I want to do is I want to go to VIP vehicles. And then I want to call in a buzzer. It's going to be $25,000 in investment but it's gonna be worth it at least in my opinion so just called in a buzzard for $25,000 but yeah now what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go around the map and I'm gonna have to try to take out all the signal jammers I'll show you how it's done the good thing about these signal jammers is that you can actually like lock onto these signal jammers with homing missiles but you have to get kind of close so as you can see our helicopter is locking on the problem with the buzzard is that it's not the most accurate thing in the world no not that helicopter not that innocent helicopter in the background yeah this thing right here Okay, there we go. One out of 50 signal jammers taken out. We need to take out 49 more. So yeah, now I'm going to go around. I'm going to destroy all these signal jammers. Hopefully this won't take too long. I don't expect this to take too long because I don't have to get out of my buzzard. I think that was an issue I was having earlier. The other ones have to like find the collectible and then, you know, get out and collect it and then move on. This I can just sit here and just, well, bam, done. And we've already gotten three done. This is going by quick. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention too, every signal jammer we take out, it's going to be $2,000 in our bank account. So we have to take out a total of 50. So we're destroying all these signal jammers. We're going to get a total of $100,000. All right, that was the second to last signal jammer that I needed to take out. There's one more signal jammer that we have to take out. And the last one is going to be in the beautiful and magnificent military base. But luckily, I am still in my buzzard. Yeah, as you can see, it's not even smoking. Um, I can't even see where I'm going because of all the snow. It doesn't affect just the lane. It affects the air. Um, Anyways, the signal jammer is going to be on the watchtower. So I need to take this out quick. Is that it right there? Oh, no, that wasn't it. Signal jammer. There's a lot of things. <gasps> there it is. Yes. I got it. I got it. Okay, so 50 out of 50 signal jammers have been destroyed. Let me get out of here so I can, like, you know, reset and kind of go over what just happened. But as you can see the top left right now, it says Avi Schwartzman has been unlocked as a crew member. He can now be hired as a hacker as a part of the Diamond Casino heist, which actually I think this is the best collectible to get. It took me, like, 30 minutes to make, like, $150,000, but I get the ability to unlock Avi Schwartzman when we do the Diamond Casino heist. And the reason that that's important is because he gives you the most time to go in and collect all the loot but anyways we made $150,000 total off of that so now I'm sitting at $516,000 after destroying all the signal jammers and now we just need to collect our final collectible which is going to be the action figures but I'm not going to do that today because it's getting pretty late I'm going to save that for another day so I'm going to stop my timer right now at seven hours 31 minutes and one second my goodness this is taking a while but yeah I'll see you when we're ready to collect all the action figures all right so I've made it back it's a new day and it's time for us to collect every single action figure in the game, which is going to be the final collectible that we're actually going to have to collect. And yesterday when I did this, I think, I, yeah, I accidentally collected one action figure. So essentially, I got to collect 99 more. Yeah, anyways, I'm going to resume the timer right now. All right, clock's running. All right, so the first action figure I want to collect is over here at LSIA. It's in one of the hangars. Is it like actually like in, in one of the hangars? Jeez, I don't know. Oh, yeah, here it is. Okay, 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 yeah. Here's an action figure right here. And these action figures could look a little different i think some of them can be an alien some of them can be impotent rage anyways yeah let's pick up this action figure and let's go collect the other 98 and hopefully i can do this in a very quick manner oh i forgot to say too i think i forgot to say this yesterday we're a level 40 right now which is absolutely crazy we're a level 
40 right now. After just starting out yesterday as a level one, just collecting collectibles. All right, here's the next location right here. Yeah, so I'm gonna keep going and hopefully nothing crazy happens. All right, I already think we're gonna have to go through some controversy here. We're gonna have to go inside of the Meriwether base. We haven't gone in here this entire time. Um, okay, no one's really after me. Um, I just ran right next to a guard and they don't care. Okay, wow, I'm very shocked by that. Uh, yeah, let's keep going. All right, so it's been a little bit since I've talked, but we're a little halfway done, but our next one is gonna be inside of the prison, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, uh, don't have the cops on us yet. I think it's when I land, right? Huh? <laughs> Wait. Oh, 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 when I get out. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So apparently there's an action figure at the top of this watchtower, which is a little inconvenient. Let's just put it at that. Oh, I thought there was a guy up here. There's no one up here. Okay, well, there we go. There's action figure number 69. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, we have 31 more to go. All right, so that was our last like normal action figure that we had to collect. 99 in 100 of the action figures are going to be a little bit different. So let's head over to those locations. All right, so 99 in 100 are going to be right here, which they're obviously correlating with each other. And these last two don't spawn in until you collect the first 98. But anyways, yeah, there's like, I think a beast right here. I don't know. It's kind of dark. A Sasquatch right there. I can't really see. It. It's so dark and snowy. I don't know. Let's just collect number 99 and jump over here. And there we go. We collected 100. So now we need to visit the hardcore comic store to receive my unique award. All right, so I'm outside the comic store right now. So let's walk on in and let's go collect our reward. I'm going to stop the timer right here. So what is going to be my reward? And here we go. We get a nice new outfit, Impotent Rage. So with this, you unlock, obviously, this outfit. You also unlock the Impotent Rage hair if you want to change your hairstyle. And then we get an extra $50,000. So for collecting every single collectible in GTA Online, it took us nine hours, 39 minutes in one one second to collect every single collectible. That is absolutely nuts. And in total, we have $614,000. And this is including the expense of using the buzzard to take out the signal jammers. Now, the one positive thing with this, along with collecting the pretty cool outfits, is the fact that I am now a level 47. I'm a level 47 with still only a pistol to my name. This is literally the only thing that I own. Or Okay, I guess apparently I have a combat pistol. I have two pistols and that's it. And then I have pretty much $600,000. $114,000. Don't have much. I'm a decent level, but that was me collecting every single collectible in GTA Online. Now, do I recommend you do this? No, especially if you're a low level like me on this account. Now, this would be a lot easier if you have an Oppressor Mark II. That would have been a lot easier. I could have shaved off a lot of time with it, but it's still going to be a long, long process. I would say collect all these collectibles when you just so happen to stumble upon it. And then maybe one day you're like, oh, I want to get like the other 50 or whatever. Then it'll be a little bit easier. So you don't have to collect all 100 like how I did because this last one took me like two hours just to collect every single action figure. Make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see viewers get one attempt to try to complete my heist in GTA Online.